First and foremost, I'm going to send our praises to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai. Double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone and Ruel. Peace and salutations to the hopefully elect visual. Salutations to all you brothers out there um, preaching this truth and um, keeping the faith. And bless all you confusion of faces as well. And also you few sisters who are supporting us brothers pushing this truth. To you, I say Shalom. Um, I want to come back to you from the book of uh, 1 Samuel 15 chapter and the 22nd verse. And Samuel said, Hath the Lord as great delight in burnt offerings and sacrifices as in obeying voice of the Lord? Behold, to obey is better than sacrifice and to hearken than the fat of rams, you know, um, is telling you that obedience, the most high is tell, telling us the obedience to him is better than sacrifice and hearken than the fat of rams. And he likes it better if we listen to him instead of just uh, trying to finesse him with, with gifts, you know. Uh, you have many examples where. Uh, uh, a lot of the major players in the Bible listened to the Most High. Um, Moses, Abraham, Isaac, you know, the prophet Isaiah, um, you know, the list goes on and on. A lot of those players in the Bible uh, were obedient to the Most High, you know, and if we want to live day to day, if we want to I don't want to say prosper, but if we want, if we value our life, we will uh, obey the laws and statutes of Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai. You feel me? Um, like for example, I'm gonna use myself for an example. Me, um, I take food to the camp. Okay, um, when I go, now just because I take food to the camp doesn't exclude me from a uh, obeying the laws and statutes and commandments of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah. Okay? As a matter of fact, uh, one of the brothers pulled me aside and told me, he said, Look, look, Azar, um, you know, you know, you, you know, you, you do your thing or whatever, but it's required by the elders to do, to spend at least uh, a few minutes out of the week with one of the brothers, you know, fellowship. And that's one thing that I have to work on is, is uh, taking time out of my busy schedule and fellowshipping with some of the brothers, you know? And, I mean, there's nothing really major. I mean, I mean, I can do it, you know what I mean? But that doesn't exclude me from, um, you know, obeying the laws and statutes of Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai. Even when the elders say something, you know, they put out a command or uh, a decree, you know, uh, if you're a part of Great Millstone, you have to obey by that, abide by that, you know? Uh, giving the brothers gifts, giving the brothers money does not exclude you out from doing what you have to do, man, to stay in the camp or for, um, to be a part of the elect, you know? Obedience is better than sacrifice, okay? And to hearken than the fat of rams. Now, back in the day, yeah, the Most High used to like the the burnt offerings and sacrifices and the fat of rams, you know. But the obedience, the obedience is what um, motivates him to bless you, you know. Obedience. Now he does like that, all right. Hey, he he used to like that back in the day, you know. But obedience, listening to him. You know, not rejecting him, not rejecting the elders, not rejecting the elders of the camp, okay? Especially if it's something simple. Like me, um, I had a hard time trying to get to camp on time. You know, I was, uh, you know, I would make food or whatever. And for me, I feel like the most I put it on my heart to, break the, you know, give the brothers food because, you know, they stand outside in the hot sun all day. You know, they're, they're giving it they all. And when, you, when you're when preaching like that, 
you know, you get tired. So I figured, okay, you know, let me make something for these brothers. Now, just because I did that and continue to do that does not mean I can come to, doesn't exclude me from coming to Camp League. You know, I still have to make it there on time, even though I make food, you know. I just have to do it the day before or get up early in the morning and do it or whatever because camp is at a certain time and I have to be there at a certain time. You know, if I'm a part of the camp, I have to do that. I'm not excluded, okay? So just because you give gifts, just because you do things for brothers, just because you may pay a brother's light bill or a car note, um, just because you help the brother out, you know, doesn't exclude you from doing what the elders elders tell us to do or from uh, it doesn't exclude you from breaking the law. The law, statutes, and commandments of Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shah. Nah. Hey, we are all the same. Okay? Some brothers put forth more effort than others, you know, but we all have our gifts. And, you know, we have to dis distribute our gifts evenly. Now, just because one brother has more gifts than another brother doesn't exclude him uh, as well, you know? Hey, it doesn't work like that, man. If you are a man of the Lord, you have to obey the laws, statutes, and, and commandments to the best of your ability, okay? And also, stay within order of your camp, all right? Within your local camp, there's an order, all right? And with me being an older brother, because I'm the oldest one in, in the camp, you know, I was the last one to join the camp. So I have to humble myself like a child and, you know, if brothers tell me to do something, I have to do it. And I'm going to tell you the truth, man. I really trust that judgment, man, because they have not um, really led me astray, you know. Um, there have been some things I had to ask another brother. Like one brother told me something, and I wasn't sure about it. You know, then I ask another brother about it, and then, you know, it, 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 it balances out. You know, sometimes you might have to do that. Like, um... There was a situation where I was in, I had to ask, one brother told me something, so I was like, well, let me ask another brother about it, and, but I found that balance, you know, the other brother that was telling me to do something, and then when I asked the other brother about it, he kind of gave me a, a broader perspective of what the other brother was telling me, and I just balanced it out. I didn't, the brother that came to me and told me what I needed to do, I didn't just shut him off, you know? Because when you shut them off, you're not, you know, you're not hearkening, you know, you're not hearkening. So when you get into this truth, man, you're going to have to hearken and balance, okay? You got to hearken and balance. You know, you got to just balance it out, you know? Um, sometimes it may be hard, you know, because, you know, some of the brothers in your local camp may, may not have a pure heart. When they tell you to do something, it might be some kind of evil deed. Hey, tell another brother, man. Tell another brother, and, and if you don't feel it's right, you know, that's what I, I mean, not to say my brothers in the camp are evil, because uh, look, all praises to the most high, we got rid, rid of the brothers that, that were evil, you know, they got rid of them before I came in, you know what I mean, or they just walked away, something happened, but uh, the brothers I'm dealing with right now, man, those brothers know what's up. Those brothers are men of the Lord. And I give all praises to Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shah for allowing those brothers to help me out. And sometimes, man, you got to pray for that, that, that hearken spirit. You know, ask the Most High for a hearken spirit. Ask the Most High for an obedient spirit. You know, because that's going to benefit you more than silver or gold. You know, we're living in troubling times right now where, you know, we don't know when World War III is going to pop. Well, actually, World War III has popped off, but... You know, America's getting ready to be dragged into a third war. You know, well, we already there. So, I mean, it just hasn't really escalated yet yet here. But it's it's coming. It's coming. And you're really going to have to hearken your, your heart and your mind to the most high then. Because when shit pop off, boy, let me tell you something. It's going to pop off. It's going to pop off. But, uh, again, this is the book of 1 Samuel 15 and 22. And Samuel said, half Hath the Lord so like, hath the Lord as great delight in burnt offerings and sacrifices 
As in obeying voice of the Lord, behold, to obey is better than sacrifice, and to hearken than the fat of rams. Alright? Meditate on that verse. Ask the Most High. Pray to the Most High that He gives you, that He allows you to hearken to His voice and to be obedient to His will. Alright? Till next time, this is your brother Izar. All praises to Yahweh Bahashim Yahweh Shah. Till next time, Shalom.